Woo! Man, I don't want to talk about this. Bungie. You guys know I've made a couple videos about the whole fiasco going on with Bungie. There has been a lot going around. Uh, you know, clearly the financial issues that's going on with them. There's so much going on with Bungie. Uh, it's, it's, it's devastating. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Bungie. You guys know that from Halo to Destiny, I've always been there for Bungie. Always been a supporter. Never really went away. I played Destiny for so many years. Up to this point, 10 years, I played Destiny. And it, when the rumor was going around that Microsoft wanted to buy Bungie, I was excited because I wanted, I wanted Bungie to come home. I know a lot of people had this mentality. They wanted Bungie to come back to Xbox to continue working on Halo. I never wanted that. Because I personally don't feel like Bungie making Halo today isn't going to be the same that Bungie made Halo all those years ago. You know, maybe you guys disagree with me. Put in the comment section below if you guys do. I just don't think they're going to make the same Halo that you guys visualize in your mind. Because they already started incorporating Sprint, Armor Lock. All this was in Halo Reach. They made Halo Reach, so I don't think it's a fair comparison. But when Destiny came out, I jumped on that. I enjoyed that. That was something that I thoroughly loved playing for years. Like years, almost 10 years. Now, I will admit, like the last year and a half, I fell off a little bit. You know, but it still doesn't take away from the fact the amount of time and effort that I put into that game for years. So, obviously, when all this came out that, you know, they were bought by Bungie, I mean, by PlayStation, I was one of the first people that was extremely concerned because I felt like, okay, you know, right now, obviously being a primary Xbox user, what happens with exclusivity on that? You know, they came out and said that everything's still going to be multiplayer. That was the Jim Ryan era. That was the vision that Jim Ryan had for PlayStation. To this day, I don't know what's going to happen. But one thing I do know is right now it looks like Marathon is coming for Xbox 2. So then we go on to Destiny. So Destiny has always been a key component of mine. Something that I thoroughly love. And when I saw all these layoffs, I got concerned because it made me feel like they're not actually putting any more money into Destiny. And it seemed like, for the most part, I was right. Then we get on a Marathon. Marathon is a game from the start. From the, from the initiation when I heard what this game was. I was like, now nah, I'm good. I'll stick to Destiny. I'm good. I'll stick to Destiny. Now, I'm not saying... There's no realm of possibility that Marathon can't be successful. Because there is. There are extraction shooters that do well. And apparently this is an extraction hero shooter. I don't know if that's still the case, but that's what the rumors are. We ain't really heard much about Marathon. We don't know anything about Marathon. So why do you think I'm putting my faith in a game where it's supposed to come out next year and we don't even really have a glimpse of gameplay. And it was rumored, and nothing was ever confirmed, that you know people in the, in the extraction influencer market all came together and decided whether or not that game was going to be something that they would play. They went over there and played it. And Bungie asked them, would you play this or maybe stream it? I don't exactly know the terminology and the question they asked. But just pretty much, would you play this game? And it's rumored that no one raised their hand. So we got that going on. Uh, you know, and it, I do think it's it's awfully funny and why I think some of this is true that I'm about to talk about that Jason Schreier brings up. Because if you remember, the Destiny YouTubers was not getting invited to this marathon stuff. I remember Destiny YouTubers being vocal about it and just saying, look, this is how this goes. We're not the target demographic for this. It is what it is. So I do remember that. 
So then we have this Jason Schreier thing. So what I want to do is I want to go over what this individual says, Jason Schreier. First off, let's let's be honest here. Jason Schreier, there is almost no more credible person these days. You know, I, I have like an anarchy of who says something is the percentages of me believing someone. Now, most of the time when I'm told something behind closed doors, I need at least two people with the same story. Jason Schreier has been ha, has hit it out of the park so many times. I take this dude by his word. He's saying it to me. That's true. But let's 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 listen to what good old Jason Schreier has to say about the marathon in development, according to Jason Schreier. Now, shout out to J Rock. <laughs> uh, thank you for clipping this, J Rock, because it's easier for me to do my job. But let's get into this. Let's get into this. Part of this equation, of course, is the human part, which is that like Bungie just lost between the the layoffs and the Sony moves. Mm -hmm. They've lost. I will talk like after the, the clip. 600 people over the last yeah. few years, a lot of whom were on either the Destiny team or support teams like QA and excuse me, narrative and audio and player support. And so losing those people, you like are losing resources. You are losing people who contributed a lot to the game. And um, the people who are remaining are going to have to like work twice as hard because they have to do jobs of people who are now gone. And it's just kind of a, a messy situation that will just inevitably lead to challenges, unfortunately, for those people left. Mm. And I mean, speaking mm -hmm. of, I was no, going to say, no. what's the temperature check on how marathon? Listen to this part, guys. <laughs> um, not great from what I've heard. Um, mm. There's a reason that it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year. And people that I've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline. But we'll see. I, I don't know exactly when that is. Some Sometime in 2025. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, the sentiment I've heard is not great around it at least as of a few months ago so as you guys could see you know according to jason schreier marathons and kind of development hell he never used those words and jason schreier has used those words to some degree so i, I do feel like maybe people are blowing it a little bit out of proportion because i i personally feel like if it was way way worse jason schreier would be just coming up front with that and maybe he wouldn't Maybe, you know, he still got friends at Bungie. Maybe he feels like, you know, leaking certain things might actually confirm who they are. So there's a variety of reasons why Jason Schreier isn't being 100% of what he knows. But let's, let's talk about Marathon. I hope Marathon does well. And the reason I hope Marathon does well is because it's, it's debatable. If Marathon fails, there's a chance that Bungie done. Now, part of me does not think, and maybe you guys can uh, tune in. I'm kind of curious to your guys' opinion. Part of me doesn't think that that Bungie would, that PlayStation would shut down Bungie. Now, obviously, if all the if all the talent leaves, that's different. Maybe they don't see them as a valuable studio anymore. But I do feel like there's a lot of expertise at Bungie, where even if Marathon fails. I do feel like they'll still keep Bungie around. Maybe let them work on Destiny 3. Or maybe they'll be a glorified support studio where it's like, you're going to help us with other people's games, but for the foreseeable future, you're not going to really necessarily make your own game. Which I think is kind of unfair. If Marathon isn't successful, I do feel to a degree that you shouldn't punish a studio to this degree. Uh, that That's just my personal opinion on the matter. Now, I understand there's a lot of things that goes into it. I understand that maybe Bungie doesn't make sense to their current PlayStation goes. Like I said, the Jim Ryan PlayStation era, that future may have had Bungie in the center. But it might not necessarily be the case anymore. Maybe Bungie is, you know, not necessarily essential to whatever PlayStation's got planned for them. But I do think they are a good sense of direction when it comes to games as a service. Now, when it comes to, you know, the, the factions, we can make the argument that even if Bungie didn't think that game would be successful, should they have canceled the game off of just one studio giving their opinion? Because even though I do think that you should listen to Bungie, 
they shouldn't be your your overall uh, you know conception if they go through with the ideal or not, or they go through the game or not. But that's just my honest opinion on the matter. I hope Marathon's successful because if Marathon is successful, Bungie will stick around and hopefully make Destiny three. Because if Marathon's not successful, it's it's a toss in the air if they keep Destiny three uh, around or not. They might they might can the whole studio, and I hope we don't lose another studio, especially a studio like Bungie. Bungie is so iconic; it would it would suck if we lost Bungie. But when you put in the comment section below what you guys feel about this, very curious you guys' opinion on this. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. It's always appreciated. You can always sub to the channel. We make weekly content over here. Follow me on Twitter at Lord Addict IOP, and I have my own streaming channel where I stream current topics. We talk about stuff. We stream games over there, man. It's called Addicts Arena. All that's in the description below. And until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace. Please not bungee PlayStation. Give them the opportunity. Just don't shut them down, please.